Nice. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can leave that one in place. That's just like a acting like a plug to plug that hole for this particular design. So, let's remove these two screws. the upper ground shield. This other part that stays fixed in here, that's the lower ground shield. Mm -hmm. Upper ground shield. Now all of this is live here. This is the clamping ring and it's your target material. The um, now because this is ground and this is live, they do sit very, very close to each other. Uh, over time you'll end up building up material right on this edge. And that will need to be you cleaned. Crop it out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some people will use like a scotch bright, um, or I mean, just getting in here and vacuum up any particulates is also good to do, you know, on a regular basis. But eventually, you, you might end up with so much coating here that you really got to use something a little more heavy duty to get it off. Um, so we recommend using a, a, a grit blaster, as we refer to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's same same idea as a sand blaster, same machine, but yes. instead of using sand as the media, we use aluminum grit. And aluminum grit gives a very, like, very almost undetectable. It's like a fine textured finish, mm -hmm. which is preferable for all of these parts. The, we call this the chimney, this is the shutter, clamping ring, and the upper ground shield. All should have that finish inside and out um, for best performance in the guns. So to remove the target, you remove the screws, and yep. then uh, so do that next yeah. year. That blue dot at the center, is it because of uh... I think this target's been used on so many different systems, but yeah, some, some kind of heating was happening right there. Uh-huh, okay. Perhaps there was an arc right there, but, um, you know, it's been used on so many systems. And you're going to give me the system with what targets? It'll, it'll ship with copper targets. Copper. Yeah, so standard shipping targets. <laughs> 